Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the important program that can be commonly asked in campus interviews is C program to reverse the array elements without using another array. Suppose I am taking one integer array with the array name is A and array size is 5. So that contains 5 array elements that are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now our task is to reverse the elements of the array. After reversing, what are the output we are getting? So that is 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10. How we are reversing the array elements without using another array? The simple logic is the first element of the array can be swapped with the last element of the array. That means 10 and 50 are swapping because 10 is the first element of the array, 50 is the last element of the array. After swapping, then what, what are the array elements we are getting? So 50, 20, 30, 40 and 10. In the next step, the second element of the array and the last but one element of the array can be swapped. So then we are getting 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10. After that, the middle element can be swapped with the middle element that is a 30 can be swapped with the 30. Okay. So this is the simple logic. So that logic can be implemented so in this way. First, index 0 can be assigned to the variable i. Index n minus 1 can be assigned to the variable j. Then while i less than j, if i value is less than j value, then we are swapping the index i element and index j element. So, once the swapping of index i element and index j element, after that i value is incremented and j value is decremented. So, this procedure is continued until all the elements of the array can be reversed. Okay. So, this is the uh, simple logic we have to use. Now, we can go for the program. Now, this is the uh, program. So, hash include stdio.h standard input output header file. Second, hash include cvonio.h console input output header file. Void main, the main function does not return anything so that we have to write void before the main function. Void is an empty data type. Next, within the main function, I am declaring the array size as 100. This is the available array size and n, i, j, temp variables can be declared as integer variables. Next, CLR str function, it clears the output screen. This function is available in cvonio.h header file. Next one, printf enter the required array size. So, 100 is the available array size. From that available array size, so we want to read the required array size. That required array size is stored in variable n that is read from the keyboard by using scanf function. Next, once we are uh, reading the required array size from the keyboard, now we want to enter that uh, n number of elements from the keyboard by using for loop and scanf function. So, once we are reading the n number of elements from the keyboard, now the real logic of this program, we have to start. Index 0 can be assigned to the variable i. Index n minus 1 can be assigned to the variable j. So, while i less than j, 
if this condition is uh, true now we are swapping the elements of ith ith index element and jth index element once the swapping can be done we have to increase the i value and decrease the j value so again control goes to the while loop so this process is continued until the condition at the while loop is false once the condition is false at the while loop so then the control goes to the next statement after the while loop so printf after reversing the array elements are printed by using for loop and printf function so after that so get ch function and the program is terminated so now we have to save this program once we are saving this program now we have to compile this program by using alt plus f9 command so we are getting zero warnings and zero errors press enter now we have to run the program by using control plus f9 command now the control goes to the output screen enter the required array size i am giving the required array size is 5 enter the elements into the array now we are entering five array elements that are 10 20 30 40 50 so after reversing the elements of the array now what are the elements are there 50 40 30 20 and 10 so see this one so after reversing the array elements are 50 40 30 20 and 10 so this is the output of the program once again we have to run this program enter the required array size i am giving required array size is 8 we are entering 8 array elements that are 45 six 25 75 36 23 46 and one more element 78 so after reversing what are the array elements we are getting so 78 46 23 36 78 65 34 and 45 so this is the program for reversing the elements of the array without using another array i hope all of you understanding this video If you really like this video click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel dibela sridimasra after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video